And honestly, this is what the hell? How's it going, guys? Dre here and up. Really? Are you? Did we just got another world record, guys? I saw the screen for one friggin' second and a bear ate me. Thanks, Mom. Pop me out when you're running away from a big old grizzly. That's the greatest thing ever. Well, welcome back to one hour, one minute, one life, actually, guys. That's what we're playing today is one minute, one life. But yes, we're back in one hour, one life. Now, with a game like this, I can't, like, plan out what I'm going to do. Holy crap, look at this civilization. We just gotta let it happen, so hopefully... Can, can Mom, can you feed me? All right, clearly, uh... We're in a pretty damn impressive civilization here. We have the the baby fire. <laughs> oh my god. How many? What size is this civilization? I just want to say I love this game because every day I come back and uh, I am blown away with how much has happened overnight. I mean, last time I played, there was these small little kingdoms. Now I just spawn into this thing, whatever this is. All right, well, we're going to give this a go today. I'm going to warm up my baby butt until I'm old enough, and then we're going to explore this place a little bit. What I want to learn today, the main things are how to do clothes. I'd obviously love to make a fire, but I also want to do some hunting and stuff because uh, we did a lot of farming in the last episode, so obviously I could do that. I know how to do it now. But if I can do some new things, that would be great as well, and this looks like a really good civilization to try this out. Now, people seem to be really confused in the comments, so I just want to say this again. These are all real people, guys. There is no AI in this game. There is no NPCs. All these people you see around us are actual players living their lives and doing their best to stay surviving. So I think that's going to be my main goal today. We'll see what happens. Obviously, this can totally change, but I'd like to get a bow, get some furs, and figure out how to make clothing and everything. I actually was playing a little bit last night. I saw that there is sheep in this game now. By the way, the game's been updated. I don't know if, I don't know if you noticed. We, we run a lot faster now, so I guess it was a little too hard to do stuff in one hour. All right, mom's yelling at me to stay still. I was just trying to show you guys how fast we are. Uh, but yes, now you move a lot faster in this game, and uh, I guess that's a good thing. That means we can do a lot more in the limited lifetime that we do have. All right, which one? I forget which baby I am. I, I look away, and there's like 15 other babies here. Uh, but yeah, we're still waiting it out until we can actually do anything, so just gonna stay by the fire and stay toasty warm until then. Okay, and I think, yes, we are big enough to eat. That means we are big enough to live, ladies and gentlemen. And live we will because this... Wow, what? Why have I not seen this ever? Stop pumping the wall. Let's uh, actually explore this. Okay, so this is actually... I'm assuming this used to be a sheep pen because that's what I saw before. Something very similar to that. So it's pretty cool to see that. We're obviously exploring our territory right now just to see what we got going on. Uh, actually... It's a little messy, but uh, there's a lot of food here, so that's obviously good. Let's grab a piece of carrot. It takes longer to grab things now, though. All right, so what we're going to do is look for a bow and arrow, and no, these are not bow and arrows. These are fire bow drills. I want to find one of those. If we can find one of those or we can find some clothing, then we can get moving on. Actually, look at this. Is this... Can I put that on my head? Yes, I can! All right, warm yourself up. I just found a whole suit just kind of hanging out here. Perfect. I feel like a Russian now, but uh, that's gonna keep me warmer. Therefore, I will be less and less hungry. Stop humping the bush. Okay, I have to be very careful where I click because uh, it likes to hump things now. All right, I found myself a flint chip, and I found our uh, our first storage. So I was I was envisioning myself being an epic hunter and uh, getting these guys the pelts they desperately needed. No, they got everything, man. So this is kind of nice for us, though. We can learn how to do things. So we got a dead rabbit over here. I'm going to skin that thing. It's going to give us some delicious meat. And uh, I I know there's a way to make backpacks, so I'm just trying to figure that out. Okay, I'm starving. Let's go back over. Walk a few distances uh, to get a carrot here. Let's actually... Maybe we should just take a whole thing of this because... God damn it! Pick up a carrot! Oh, that's scary, man. All right, I'm going to take one of these with me. So we'll grab this. See you later. I'm taking these carrots because I got work to do over here. All right, but it's nice and calm over here. There's not many people. So, uh, yeah, we can sit here and try and figure out how to do this. So we got four things on the ground here. So now we can... Oh, don't, don't, don't steal my stuff. So it seems like four rabbit furs make a rabbit fur coat. That is not what I need. I want to figure out how to make a backpack. Okay, you know what? Let's try and throw some of these on here. Let's see what happens when we just... Okay, that looks like the max stack we can have. So... I uh, don't want to keep those off. 
Let's see here. Is there anything in here? Oh, yes! Oh, we need a needle and thread. So I figured it out. It's four full furs, two half furs, and then a needle and thread. So we gotta figure out or find uh, some needle and thread. Now, I do know how to get a needle. That is actually with a cooked rabbit. You can eat it and then uh, grab its bones to make a needle. Thread is with... One of the plants, I remember that, but uh, it's very vague. You gotta re realize how much you need to remember in this game, and it is freaking ridiculous. So we're gonna try and do that. I'm gonna either find needle and thread or make it. Aha! I found some thread! That's the hard part, so that's good. We're gonna bring that... Uh, well, we'll just hold on to it. Now, there should be... Oh, there's actually more thread here. Didn't... See, it's very easy to miss it. So we got some multiple threads here. I just need to find a needle. Looks like we do have a snare here. We may as well snare since we're around here. Uh, they actually have it in the perfect spot, so we're just gonna throw that on there. Uh, we'll start snaring as we're doing other things as well. So, now, right now... Oh, that one, that looks like it right there. Is that it? Yes! No, that's a rabbit bone, but we should... We can make a bone needle using the flint chip. Uh, we got more rabbit bones over there, so I think that's all we need is the bone needle. So, let's go get that flint chip. We have one over here, and we'll use that on this. Wait, did I just... Wait, what? Where'd, where'd my bone chip go? Oh, no. Did I just lose it? Ah, there's a bone needle anyways. Yeah, that's the great thing about living in this crazy civilization. Ah, uh, you have everything right beside you. Did I drop that? What did I just... Small trash pit? I just threw it in the trash pit?! Are you... I didn't realize that was a trash pit. Can I... Can I dig out of the trash pit? Clearly I can't. Damn it! Okay, we, we also have a bow and arrow here, so we're gonna take this. I'm just kind of collecting things at this point because I, I, I have a plan here. We're gonna make a backpack and we're going to be a wanderer, guys. We are going to explore these lands and see what we can find. So we're just gonna drop this here. We're getting older, so we do we can't waste any time in this game. You gotta remember that. Oh, we got a, we got the rabbit, so that's good. We're, we're helping out too as we are doing other things, so that's always good. We'll grab that. And I saw there was another one... I mean, they're all around here, so we'll put that there because there's a family there. You always want the family because you'll deplete the population if there's not a family of rabbits. Aha! I found another one. Let's not drop this one randomly now. It's very easy to lose things because you can just flip them with the things on the ground. Now, this game, there's only two buttons you use with it, so sometimes you can totally screw up things if you're not too careful. Okay, so let's go get that needle, or sorry, the thread, which is right over here somewhere. Uh, where, where, where was that? Oh, God. Aha! Okay, I found some damn thread. Now I just can't get lost. Okay, oh my god, there's just, there's too much to this kingdom. I'm actually lost right now, guys, so hold on here. Let me figure out where I am. Let me get my bearings. There we go! Okay, so put the damn needle on this thread. We have a needle and thread, and I think we should... Oh god, I don't want to screw this up. Hold on, let me drop this real quick. So if we touch this, drop this. Yeah, we should be able to just use this on this... And blammo! Okay, that was very, very hard considering all the items were given to me. But we do have a backpack now. I'm gonna take that needle with me and we just throw it in the backpack there. I have no idea how much can be stored in that backpack, but that means we can explore. Now, didn't I have... Did I bring a bow and arrow down here? I know I had one, uh, but who knows where I left it. Okay, let's actually bring a trap with me. Nope, don't bring the bunny with me. Okay, don't take off your hat. Like, uh, ah! Dealing with inventory with two items is slightly frustrating, guys. So let me just throw my backpack back on. I'm gonna take this snare with me. I think we're gonna go exploring, guys. What is up with the things flying across my screen? I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but uh, I think that's definitely a glitch. All right, so we're gonna take a risk. This is obviously a very cool area. Did I just throw something else? Oh, no. Okay, so that's a rabbit hole. No big deal. This is a very cool area, but uh, I'm all about exploring. I want to see what this world has to offer. So, what I'm going to go look for is a bow and arrow. I know there's one over here. What do we got over here? Bowl of minced rabbit? Ooh, can I eat that? I mean, I don't want to waste it. Okay, it looks like it has to be cooked first. Alright, a U-shaft plus a rope is a U-bow. I know I've seen rope around here. This actually might be rope right there. It is a rope right there. Don't you... Okay, don't you use that. I'm going to use this. Here, hold on. Make it? Okay, hold on. I gotta probably use this on that. There we go. We got a bow. I have made myself a bow. Now I gotta figure out how to make an arrow or find an arrow. Oh, look at that. I almost missed it, but yes! We finally have found a bow and arrow, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, I think I'm ready to go. I wanna make... Maybe I wanna take a cart with me, though. I'm, I'm thinking I should bring some food with me just to be safe. 
All right, and a beginner's mistake. I actually just realized you can't have a bow and arrow with a cart, so I have to choose one or the other. I guess we could be an ultimate trapper with the cart. Uh, but I'm going right now, and uh, I have a couple carrots in my backpack, so we should be okay. And let's see if we can find a different civilization or something. I know there's some new animals in this game as well, and you can kind of see how crazy big this civilization was. My god, are we ever fast now, though. Look at this thing. We are flying through this. So we're obviously in a swamp right now. What I'm hoping to do is find a different civilization and just kind of, you know, explore, meet up, talk to people, and uh, experience life as a wanderer. I, I, I don't want to sit and be a farmer. We've done that. Uh, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but I'm all about exploring right now. And immediately, I'm not actually finding too much to kill. Oh, actually, look at that. Speak of the devil. Now, that's too big, though. And honestly, this is... What the... Hell? Okay, well, I, I don't know if we're at the same spot, but, uh... Honestly, we're not gonna be able to make fire, because fire takes, like, ten steps. So... Really, I'm not about getting food from meat. This is more for protection from coyotes! Uh, like these guys here. We got bears everywhere as well. We are exploring a mountain right now. Uh, so yes, this is a lot more dangerous than ground we're normally used to. All right, I found a nice place to kind of relax for a second. So we're going to do that. Eat some of these berries so we can refuel. If I can ever drop my thing. It, I, I think the server might be lagging, guys. Oh, God, don't tell me. Oh, no, I just, I just need a berry. Well, we have lots of health, so that's good, but, uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, my God, the leg. All right, but there we go. We can at least get some of these gooseberries here and, uh, fully fuel up. So, I'm not gonna stay around here, though. We could definitely sit here for a few years and just eat these things, but I, again, am all about exploring. We have clearly found another civilization. Looks like this one didn't last very long, though, unfortunately, so rest in peace. And if you are curious where the carrots come from, you have to come to this land, and then you have the seeding wild carrots here. Now, I think you need a sharp stone to grab those, but that's how you start getting carrots. Uh, basically, they're all in farms now, but that's how you first get them. Uh, all right, we're getting back up to the mountain here. Oh, my God, multiple bears. I don't want to go too fast because uh, clearly I'm having load issues as well, so... Uh, the game has experienced a huge influx of growth, considering people have seen how cool it is. Oh my god, look at all the bears. So obviously the server's having a little bit of a hard time right now, it looks like. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna take our time here, and I'm hoping we can find something. I'm curious to see how big this world is. We're stuck on this. Oh god, coyote! Shoot the coyote. Okay, we're, we're actually stuck right now. So this, this glitch, whatever it is, very frustrating. Well... This is depressing. I uh, I can clearly see what happened here. All right, we got a dead guy with clearly a bunch of gear. And it uh, looks like he was a traveling trapper, maybe, because we got traps. We have baskets. That's my only assumption. And if that's the case, that is awesome. When we learn how to make fire better, I definitely do want to be a traveling trapper. Ooh, this looks like crazy stone over here. So... Yeah, just exploring a little bit, but it's nice to see some of the old civilizations that didn't, unfortunately, make it. And we can kind of see how big this world is now as well. I'd definitely live a longer life if I didn't have to uh, hump the ground every time I wanted to eat some berries along my way. I'm spending the vast majority of my time doing this. So, yeah, servers are having a little bit of an issue right now. Also, I love this crafting recipe. Bow and arrow plus wolf equals shot wolf. You don't say! All right, well, thank you. Now I get mad, and it finally finishes. So I can eat my couple berries so we can stay full and keep going. I, 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 the problem is I don't want to keep my health bar too low because we could definitely starve with this. Actually, I don't even know if I want the damn bow and arrow now. It's not like it's going to help me that much. I don't think one bow, or one arrow, rather, uh, kills a coyote and a bear. Definitely not. We need quivers of arrows, and I'm assuming it's probably in the game. Nobody's just made it yet. Look at this freaking forest that we got going on here. So you can see kind of the different biomes, though. Uh, you definitely, if you do want to start a civilization, you want a mixture of different biomes. Swamp, the Greenlands, and even this stone area has some benefits to it. So uh, just kind of looking around right now, I, I thought the map would be a little bit smaller. I'm actually blown away by how big this world is. I, I've been exploring, have not seen one other civilization or human yet. I mean, I have not even heard one.
All right, I'm kind of crafting as we go here, just in case I need it. Now, I know how to make thread. It's two milkweeds, guys. That's how you make thread. We don't have the bones to uh, use that, but thread can come in handy. We might, we might be able to make some clothes for someone or something. I honestly have no idea, but I'm just kind of learning how to craft from the raw materials as we go here, because it's great being in a, in a civilization, but it doesn't actually explain to you how to start a civilization. And obviously, one day... I'd like to try and do that. Have a small one. We'll obviously not be able to experience the full-fledged force of it. Because your ancestors never get to experience what you do. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to be able to actually start a successful one. One day when I'm good enough. Oh, don't tell me. Is this gonna be how it goes? Is this... I, I was worried about it. I, I've been waiting like four bars, guys. I've actually watched this flower twice! Freaking twice! How, how, how do I watch a milkweed flower twice? Yep, and of course there's two delicious berry bushes right beside me, but no, no, this is, this is, this is... Ah! Why, why? Oh, it, there's nothing more fr frustrating than dying to a glitch. And it... Yep! It happened, guys. I... No, come on! I just wanted to die of old age at least once in this game, and we died of starvation because of a damn glitch. So obviously this game's getting a lot more popular and with that the servers definitely uh, are kind of bogged down right now. At least it feels like it. Uh, and with the speed upgrade, I think that didn't help it as well. But yeah, we made it to 48 years of age. Our cause was starvation, not by our own self-choice though or mistake. Unfortunately, that was a glitch. The big thing today was I wanted to explore to find different civilizations, but we quickly realized how big this world is and how much room there is to expand. So I don't think I'm going to be a great voyager anytime soon. We're going to have to stay with civilizations and work with them. But I thought we'd try that today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We learned a little bit about how to make gear. And we saw a pretty damn epic civilization. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.